currently the 16th of January and we're taking down our tree decorations. We've still got like winter decor up, like the deers and the oranges and mushrooms and anything that's like cute, festive winter, like pine cones and cinnamon sticks and stuff. But we're taking down like wreaths, red, Santa. Excuse the mess, but ADHD life hack. When I'm putting away my laundry, I throw things into the pile of where they get hung. So like, this hangs in this side of the wardrobe, that hangs in the other side, and that hangs on another bit. Um, and now I know when I get the energy to do it again, that all I have to do is like monotonously put it onto coat hangers. And using this, I've put away all of my laundry and I just have to organize this section, but that's mask, hat, gloves for downstairs, belts for in the wardrobe, and then a pile of bookie things. I've also tidied Lauren's crevice on her side of the bed because it gets awful. Taken most of the dishes downstairs and done most of them. Tidied some of my side of the bed and put away all the clothes except the jumpers. We are currently dealing with this mold wise. Everything that is white but still moldy is stuff that we glossed over and then the outside of where the gloss was is where the yellows come through. It's gone up to the coving behind the bookshelf so I'm gonna need to take all my books off um, but it's really frustrating. I don't know if you can see like oh you definitely can um, that like the actual plaster is coming off of the walls and there's a green mold behind there. Mum's got some special wallpaper that she's gonna put on it to hope and sort it out but we've got the dehumidifier on most of the day to try and fix it but it's just ridiculous because we were gonna put like a chest of drawers in this cubby um, and then like when we have kids use it as like a breastfeeding corner so this is really disappointing and gross. It's just such a beautiful day. Got all my plants thriving. My dad got me a Christmas card with um, seed paper. So I'm really excited to plant that when the season comes. Our arch looks so cute. I'm off work today because my car's engine seized and now I have to get a new car even though I've only had this car five weeks. Um, which is so annoying and so disappointing <laughs> but I managed to walk to Lauren's work and use that to get uh use the phone to phone my mum to come and pick me up when she finished work but I had to wait for like two and a half hours and Lauren was obviously working so I couldn't be there So I'm not sure if this footage will ever end up actually getting used but we've got a few bits and bobs for our future children that we're about to put up in the loft. <laughs> you okay baby? Loud drops and batteries from the loft. This one's really cute. <laughs> um, just some silly little bits but I thought it would be really cute to show them like before we're even pregnant well like obviously we'll be pregnant when I upload this but it's just cute stuff from us preparing for a baby we went to the local cheap DIY shop today and we got it was longer this for on top of our stairs here's the bit um, an amber cut a little notch out so it goes over the like skirting board from the stairs and I will show you what it looks like now. So this is it before and we keep like catching our toe on that gap and it's ugly and, it's ugly. and then oh, that's yeah. where it's gonna look like after and we shouldn't catch our feet on it as much. Yeah. And then there's this little piece that we might end up doing. Excuse the just grim stairs. 
I can't wait until we paint them and put a cupboard on because of the like stained brown and like the horrible paint splattered wood. Um, but our next project is gonna be to put shelves up here and like got some fake plants for it, hammock, um, then we're painting like a 70s earth toned kind of stripe up. Uh, and then we need to put like a baby gate on here. Yeah, where this is like where you'd put the stair gate across that banister thing. Number one, you've got a gap here, so the stair gate becomes kind of useless. Like if my brother's baby comes around or when we have kids and like kind of with the dog, she'd shove her head through there. Um, but you've got like this indent, so you have like an inch or two inch gap. So we need to like block off that bit, but I don't know how to do it without it looking really ugly. Um, like making everything seem really closed off and then we've got like build a custom stair gate that kind of goes around the corner so that it's in line with this top step rather than that banister bit but we've been doing like little changes that make us feel good like a mid little photo wall here it needs to like extend more and then i'm putting like a plant shelf up there we've got the shelf but we just don't have the brackets we like i i know i posted ages ago about painting this arch and then I want to get some like all white or all cream um, thingies for this flower uh, flower stand, candle stand, um, because the like two one colour and one the other kind of drives me mad. But I love these colours, they're like our wedding colours, my friend got them for my birthday, I love them. Um, and then here we've got like presents for my brother's baby and like a cute little card. Uh, and this is like a very 70s faux plant to go on the hallway uh, where we're doing like the 70 stripe because it will go really well hopefully and it's going to be where all my books are and I need some neutral because my books look like this right now and uh, that causes me stress but yeah we've still got to deal with like the fucking damp and mold issue in this cubby but it's not growing and it's not progressively getting worse the way it was before so I think the silver paper definitely is helping we've got some more silver paper I just need to get the fucking motivation and time and energy to um do like a last strip along here and then paint it all white and hope that it doesn't look horrendous and we got our new mattress but i need to get a mattress cover and stuff for that so we need to go to wilco's one day soon because that's where the one i want is but i'm like slowly day by day trying to take control of my life and make things a bit less stressful so the other day i sorted out my wool for my crocheting um, and today I'm sorting out all my bullet journaling supplies. I got this big organizer. So my job the other day trying to like take things off the list and get everything a bit less stressful and a bit more organized and nice was organizing all my wool and I bought a bunch of new colors because I was in a crochet hyper focus and wanted a bunch of new projects uh, and I didn't have many wool colors. I had like mostly weird chunky wool of multiple colors and stuff like that. Uh, so I bought a bunch of neutrals and then like a few cute yellow and peachy lilac tones and stuff So they're all nicely organized All the neutrals on one side all the colors on the other except this lilac ignore that one um, and All nice and neat in here and then like I've got a little bag with like half done projects and stuff This is less satisfying than I thought it was gonna be but still better than what I had and Somehow having dogs I have dog hair already inside my organizer, which is nice so this doesn't look that organized, but it is. This is all my like spare glues, pins, uh, ribbons, tape, etc. This is all like my regular use stuff. My journal, like this is the box I'm gonna grab when I wanna do journaling. And I've like got all my stamps that I regularly use. Um, sheets of like stickers and labels and stuff then I've got like washi tapes like Dymo refills a date stamp hole punch corner punches cute like floral stickers just all nicely organized in there uh, and then I've got like my journal and the pencil case I use on the side some more spare like journals or used journals then all the pencil cases, wooden stamps, rubber stamps, the ink pads, and then like spare posters and stuff. Um, yeah, all nicely organized in there so that hopefully I can journal without stress now. 
So we're finally putting up our shelves up here. We need to move everything that's on that counter away from it. We've got the shelves out, we've got the drill, um, and all the screws and stuff, ready to go. So we have our shelf out, we've cleared the side, cleaned it, and now we've just got to hold it up and find where the screw holes are gonna be, because we drew some like over this way, but they are for when we thought the shelf was gonna be longer. <laughs> So what we've done is we've balanced one of the shelves where, roughly where we put the guidelines last time um, and then we put one of our jars on top to check it's the right height and then what we're going to do is pull out this bracket slightly, put it on the wall and then I'm going to hold, oh I've pushed it in now, um, I'm going to hold the bracket while Lauren pulls out the uh, shelf and then we'll be able to draw the holes in the bracket and stuff without it moving from where the shelf needs to go. But that's roughly where the shelves are gonna go and I love them. Lauren's just putting in the raw plugs. I've drilled, uh, how many is that, 12 holes? Second bracket's up, just gotta put the second shelf up and fill the holes. So somehow we put up the bottom one wrong about 17 times, had to fill all the holes. This has taken hours to put two shelves up. Um, and they're not like as 100% movement free as I would like. They've got like a tiny wiggle in them, but I, I'm hoping that's normal. Editing Amber here. I feel like this video ended really abruptly um, and I didn't say anything else or do any kind of outro. So here's your outro. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of just a DIY and rough jobs roundup and see you next time for more.